Hello and welcome to my August plan with me. My name is Dana and I'm very happy to have you here with me today. So starting out, we're doing a quick flip through from July. If you did not see my July plan with me, I did like a blue mountains theme as an homage to my trip I took in July to the Smoky Mountains and Shenandoah National Park. Um, I have vlogs of both of those trips if you guys are interested in checking them out. Those along with my actual July plan with me video will all be linked in the description. I had a great time on the trip and doing this theme, so I hope you guys check it out. All right, so now moving on to August. My August theme is also vacation themed. So in July, I went on a vacation with my boyfriend, Joe. And in August, I'm going on a vacation with my family. And if you guys could not tell by what you see me drawing so far, we are going to Hawaii. So I decided to kind of do like a Hawaiian floral kind of theme with all different like yellows and oranges this month, which I had a lot of fun drawing. It's pretty like, free flowing the way they draw these flowers at least from the reference pictures I looked at online so it's nothing too like strict hard lines that you have to recreate so I had a lot of fun messing around with these this month. So for this setup I really used three main colors a orangey yellow and orange and then more of like a peachy orange I guess um, the two orange and orange yellow were from my Crayola Super Tips and the one you see me using right now that more like peachy orange is from my Tombow Dual Brush Pen set. I will have all of those linked down below along with my bullet journal. I have an Archer and Olive bullet journal. I will link the specific one that I have. I don't remember the name of the print. I think it might be called Into the Forest, but I'm not sure, but I'll have that linked down below along with my coupon code for 10% off of Archer and Olive. I had a bit of a hard time picking a font to use for this month. Last month I went back to my classic calligraphy style with my Tombow brush pens, but I wanted to switch it up for my Hawaii theme and I landed on kind of just this big like blocky bubble letter theme where all the letters are kind of like smushed together and connected and you will kind of see how it comes together in a minute when I outline it. I think switching up the font is one of the like coolest things you can do with your bullet journal themes. I think that's really what like sets it apart month to month. So obviously you have the different doodles, the colors, and the font are like the big thing. Cause I know for me, my spreads are pretty much a similar format each month. So those are the things that really set it apart. So I like how I outline this to kind of make it one big block instead of outlining the letters individually. Moving on to my quote page, which is not really much of a quote this month, it is more of a word, but I did the same doodles in the same colors, except on the first page, my cover page, I just did two really big flowers, where on this page I did a few more flowers, but smaller ones, which is pretty much the premise of this whole setup, is those flowers in different sizes and alternating in color. So when I was looking for a quote to use this month, I didn't really see anything that really stood out to me, but I decided to kind of go along with the vacation theme to just write out the word relax because I want to, you know, take time and enjoy my relaxing beach vacation. And also I will be moving this month and starting my new job. So relax will definitely be something that I want to do and take advantage of when I have the opportunity. And I think relaxing on the beach in Oahu will definitely be an opportunity I would like to take advantage of. And then I went in and outlined the word relax the same way I outlined the word August, which you will see me doing all throughout the font headers in this spread. And that is those two pages finished. So up next is my monthly calendar spread. This will be very important for me this month because on top of keeping track of vacation and moving and starting work, this is also the first month that I will be living on my own and having bills. So all of that must be you know, kept up with with my calendar. So I started off my header the same way I did on my cover and quote page. And then I used the same font style for the like days of the week headings except for these I did not fill them in I just outlined them kind of in an attempt to make the spread less busy but also to have some variety. Please let me know down in the comments what types of videos you want to see from me in August but really just 
upcoming in the future in general. My life is going to be pretty different than when I started this channel over like a year and a half ago. So definitely different videos will be coming out. Um, I'm starting my first job as a nurse if you guys do not watch my non-bullet journaling related videos. And I will be moving from New Jersey to Maryland. So some big changes for me. Let me know what types of videos related to those that you guys would want to see or if you just want to see new bullet journaling spreads and you know what kind of different spreads I use as someone who is now an adult and will be living on my own. At the bottom, right under the Wednesday of my calendar, I added in a YT for where I'm going to put my YouTube tracker. I kind of alternate on how I label that. Usually I'll draw the YouTube logo, but I was really feeling the bubble letters, so I added in some more. And now up at the top, I'm adding in some more of my Hawaiian flowers to connect it back to my theme. Moving on to my fine liners, I added in the lines for my calendar. I believe this is a 6x6 six six calendar. Usually I do a 7x7. Seven seven. I'm not sure why I went with the 6x6 six six this month, but sometimes it just kind of happens that way. Um, I'm using a size 03 micron fine liner, which is what I use for most of the setup. I do switch to an 01 when I do my mood tracker, but you guys will see that when we get there. So I'm doing the same outline as I did before. If you actually notice, I skipped um, outlining the first day of the month, but I will catch that before we move on to the next page. Since I did a smaller calendar than I usually do, I ended up with a good amount of space over on the right side of my spread, and originally I was thinking I was just going to add in some more doodles on that side because I wasn't really sure what else I wanted to do with it, but I had the idea to just use this as like a brain dump area that I labeled moving checklist to just write down a bunch of things that I'm going to have to do when it comes to moving because as I am learning, moving is a lot. And it's pretty different from moving into a college dorm room, which I am used to doing for the past four years. All right, so moving on from the moving discussion, um, next spread is my habit and mood tracker. Same headings as I have been doing and same habit tracker as I do all the time. Three habits, exercise, art, and stretching. I'm not sure with moving if I'm going to get a gym membership or a membership to like some sort of classes. I know when I was at school I had a yoga studio membership so I might look into something like that because I know I'm somebody who likes to go to classes as opposed to just working out on my own but we will see what happens. So those are my three habits and I will show you guys or tell you guys what I am doing for my mood tracker once we get to that because that is always a spread I have so much fun with. All right, so moving on to my mood tracker. As you guys saw, I drew five different circles for five different moods. I had to add in a lighter and a darker shade than the colors that I used in my setup, um, but that is fine. I usually stick with five, so that's what I went with. And for the mood tracker itself, I tediously drew out 31 outlines of the Hawaiian flower I was using and I will color it in every day according to the mood. It did take a lot of time. This is in like super 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 speed um, but I do think when it's all filled in it will look pretty cool. The mood tracker is one I always have the most fun with coming up what I'm going to do with each month and this one was no different. After labeling my habits and drawing the little smiley faces onto my different moods that was the spread finished. On to my next spread, it is my spending tracker and in the past couple months I put my like savings tracker where I track how much is in my different savings goals on my budgeting page but I actually decided not to do a budgeting page this month. I'm transitioning into using a budgeting app, the Every Dollar app. Um, it was just something I'd seen from budgeting YouTubers that I like to watch and also I'm really not sure what my August budget is going to look like because it is my first month living on my own and having to like provide solely for myself with like cooking and everything like that so I want to kind of 
just track what I'm spending and see what how much I need to spend. Obviously, I'm going to be cognizant of like not just spending like a bajillion dollars on entertainment. You guys know what I mean. Just seeing how much I spend on groceries and things like that because I think it might be a little unrealistic for me to try and set budgeting numbers for myself before I know how much I really spend. Long-winded version of this um, is just me saying that I didn't do a budgeting spread this month. After outlining and labeling my cash and card side, that is my spending, saving spread, done. Next up is a spread I just implemented into my bullet journal last month to try out. So if you did not see my July plan with me, this is like a chronic illness symptoms tracker. I did change it up a bit from last month. I'm trying to like figure out what works best for me. I did like using it in July. I'm not sure if I really learned too much about myself and my body and how it works. Um, but yeah, that is something that I am working on this month. So some changes I made from last month. I made my sleep section really big and colored in like a block per hour that I slept. But I felt like that wasn't really a great use of space. So I'm just going to write how many hours I sleep. I also added in a couple more different symptoms that I could track because I felt that I didn't have enough last time. And I added in the biggest change was a notes section. That is my biggest section because just want to have a space to write in anything that I feel could be affecting how I might feel that day that I might not need an entire category for but just a general note to say like I don't know anything that I think would help me better understand what is going on and with my symptoms tracker finished we are moving on to my last spread of this plan with me which is my first weekly spread for August. So I'm kind of imitating what I did for my last weekly spread of July, which you guys would have seen in the beginning if you were looking at my flip through, where I basically just didn't leave that much space for each day because it's the summer and I don't really have too much going on. I left a big chunk at the bottom, which I'm just using as a moving to-do list. Um, I started writing out the word moving to-do, but I didn't have enough space, so I wrote moving TD, um, but you guys get the idea. I didn't feel like erasing my letters and re-spacing it out, but I think, you know, I know what I meant. After finishing up all the letters in my headings, I wrote for each day of the week, which I did in kind of like a color order. I brought back those two extra colors that from my mood tracker and I did it kind of in like a rainbow order, which gives me like sunset vibes, which I feel like is very fitting for this theme. But yeah, just simple handwritten for each. I didn't, again, want to leave too much space for each day because I don't have a lot of events. It's more like things to do, which I'd rather have as like a big chunk on the bottom instead of allocating them per day. Last up to finish up this page, I outlined with my 01 micro and fineliner to Hawaiian flowers again. I already had a lot of color, so I thought it would be fun to just do them in black. So that is how I finished off this spread. All right, moving on to my final flip through. I had a lot of fun with this theme. I really liked the colors, giving me like sunset vacation vibes. I had a lot of fun drawing the flowers, even on my tedious mood tracker spread. So yeah, I hope you guys liked it too. Let me know in the comments.